17 units with their children, and we've already welcomed them with the children who will be going to school with them. And I hope one day to be able to send my children to school with the children in the building that you'll be building. But this one is important in particular. Every day, tenants stop by my building, residents who are being forced out from their homes, evictions continue every day. And people are looking for middle income housing. And that's exactly what we got here at 21 Units. I can't wait to meet some of my new constituents. And I can't wait to start working on some of the new constituent service requests that will be coming in, whether it's making sure that the MTA obeys the law, that those buses outside never idle again, uh, <laughs> or uh, that uh, the DOT makes sure to care for its bridge and ensure that uh, the local wildlife is uh, friendly to our tenants. <laughs> so uh, we, will, we, do, we will have some work cut out for us. Uh, but I do want to thank again Guido, uh, Azimuth Development. I also want to thank uh, TD Bank uh, for their partnership and represented by Matthew Schatz. Uh, TD is integral to our community, whether it's financing new developments like this. Uh, I believe I do a five borough bike tour uh, sponsored by our organization every year. And we're also anchor sponsors for a conservancy in the Sutton area that we work very closely on. And so uh, I wish I could say that about other banks, uh, but uh, TD Bank is where I do my banking, in part because of all the great work that they do. Um, I also just want to uh, mention that uh, this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg. Uh, I, I had to learn about affordable housing from this project in a bit of a trial by fire. And, it was less a trial by fire for me than anybody else, but now I've actually, it, it, it was a foreshadowing and, and it helped because now I chair the committee responsible for Article 11 and affordable housing projects in the City Council, the Subcommittee on Planning Dispositions and, and Concessions, uh, where we will be bringing that same magnifying glass that I brought to this project to every single project in the city to ensure that we get as many uh, units as we can for folks. and. Uh, the units here are absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I will tell you that one bedrooms in this district are at around, uh, if you're lucky, in a walk-up on the sixth floor, which is considered the penthouse walk-up. Uh, you're looking at $4,000 a month. Uh, and uh, when you're talking about uh, buildings that have an elevator like this one, you're talking about five or $6,000 a month. Uh, and so uh, having a one bedroom on the Upper East Side for $1,254 for a one bedroom for a uh, person who's making between $44,000 and $50,000 a year really means that we're bringing affordable housing to middle income New Yorkers here. So I want to thank you. I've gone on too long. I may step out as soon as my phone rings and my wife tells me it's time to come home. <laughs> uh, or my daughter. But uh, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Councilmember Kalos, you should probably go home. <laughs> <laughs> Our next speaker is the Associate Commissioner of uh, Housing Incentives. That doesn't look that correct, but <laughs> <laughs> Louise Carroll of the HPD. Good morning. I'm pleased to be here with you to celebrate the opening of 321 East 60th Street. It is rare, as the council member said, that we have an opportunity to celebrate the opening of a 100% affordable residential building in the middle of Manhattan without any city subsidies. <laughs> so um, you'll hear that this building has an Article 11 tax exemption, but really what that exemption is doing is regularizing their taxes. This building contributes to the city um, tax base. So we have 100% affordable housing in a building, and that building pays taxes. Right. <laughs> um, I'd like to congratulate and applaud um, the development team led by Azimuth Development and their partners, TD Bank, the Housing Partnership, for accomplishing this feat. I'd also like to thank you, um, Councilmember Kilos, for helping us get this Article 11 and for supporting this project and for bringing this housing to our district. I am also one of your constituents. 
It's thanks to individuals like you that Nadia can celebrate that she is not only the proud resident of an affordable home in New York, but she can rest assured that there will never be a moment where she will struggle to pay rent, as this is permanently affordable housing. It means that rents are capped in perpetuity for as long as this building stands to a level that's affordable to someone earning um, the moderate income salary that the council member referred to. We rely on our partners, our elected officials, our developers, banks, not-for-profits like the partnership to help us accomplish our mission to make New York City a more equitable city. It is thanks to you that there is a bit more economic diversity in the middle of Manhattan. It is through our partnerships that we've been able to finance more than 24,536 affordable homes in 2017 alone. And nearly half of these homes, about 48%, are affordable to individuals making less than $33,000 and um, less than thirty-three dollars or $43,000 a year for a family of three. Through the Mayor's Housing New York Plan, the city has financed the construction or preservation of 87,557 affordable apartments in the past four years. It means that over 87,000 individuals, just like Matthew, can rest a little easier at night knowing that they can live in an apartment that they can afford. Once again, I'd like to congratulate Azimuth and all the development partners for a job well done. And I'd like to say to Natya and all of her neighbors, welcome home and welcome to our district. Our next speaker is uh, Vice President at TD Bank, Matthew Schatz, who hopefully will find it is hard to say a couple of nice things about him. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pressure. <laughs> so, I mean, as you've heard, we, when you're in this business of affordable housing and you land on affordable housing, I was in government for the first half of my life. I've been to a lot of these events. Someone said, you're going to an event for a 21-unit project. It's not a 150-unit project. Like, this is 21 units of permanently affordable housing in the middle of Manhattan. That's unbelievable. I mean, it's the first time I've been involved in a deal like that, um, other than through this program. So it, it's, it's very unique. And, and the way I look at it is, Yes, the, the housing plan, the mayor's housing plan is, is a great plan with very laudable, large numbers, and the city and HPD has done a great job of producing lots of units. But what we forget sometimes is that the, behind each of these 21 doors is someone who needs a place to live affordably in New York. So for each of those 21 people or families, a project like this is vital. And it's nice to have a certain number of units, but I look at it as one person, one family at a time, and that's, and that's what this is all about. Um, from my banker's point of view, if you see the picture of this building, and if you had walked the site before construction started, you said, you, you want to put up what, where? <laughs> this little building right next to a bridge. How are you going to do that? Um, so that's a, that's a testament to your fortitude and fine work as well as that of your architect and your contractor as well. So uh, congratulations and happy to have been here. Thanks. but on many projects, uh, a group that we've been proud to work with uh, over the years. The COO of the New York City Housing Partnership, Sheila Martin. Good morning and thank you. Usually, I'm not the one here talking. Usually it's our CEO. But I've known uh, Guido and Azimuth for at least six, seven years, probably longer. Yeah. 
and before him, his dad, in uh, many, many projects that we've worked with, both uh, rental now, but previously home ownership. And so don't, it's don't actually, say how many. No, I said many. <laughs> I'm not saying for myself. <laughs> and so it is, in fact, a pleasure to continue with uh, this this family and this uh, this um, uh, development, this this development group in uh, in in rental. Uh, not only were we the partner on the um, uh, as the HDFC. But we did the marketing, and we are still in the process of marketing. And so the tenant, who will be speaking after us, has come through our office, and we will continue to work with, uh, with um, that lottery list until all of the uh, apartments are sold, and uh, we will maintain uh, ongoing relationships as far as uh, compliance as is now required. So we've... Uh, done over 600 units of affordable housing with uh, Guido and Best Development. And uh, these uh, 21 of permanently affordable is uh, really a hallmark because I think most of the projects have been in the Bronx that, that we've worked on. And so expanding to, uh, to Manhattan is uh, it's, it's a pleasure for us. And it's a, a testament to really fortitude to actually able to get the site, build the site, and uh, continue and continue on. So uh, we continue to enjoy working with uh, Edo and his team, and we look forward to more projects. Thank you. I think in this case, um, you know, we're lucky today that uh, a couple of our new Residents um, uh, are going to say a couple of hopefully positive words about <laughs> our building. Um, so our next speaker is actually a new resident of ours by the name of, forgive me if I say it wrong, but uh, Nadia Mosavili. That's very good. Okay. <laughs> My name is Dido. Please. Believe me, I wasn't sure. She was, believe me, it's, 
said it's very, it's a tremendous place. And secondly, I want to give a shout out to the housing partnership, uh, Tanya and Trina. They put, the process was absolutely transparent. They were there to help me every time I needed help. And uh, I just, uh, I, I can't say enough good things about you and your organization. It really, it really came through. And uh, you've got wonderful people there, really caring people. And it really shows. Thank you very much. Thank you so much to everybody. And um, before we close, just uh, as we speak to the quality of the building, I want to thank Pete Dolce, our contractor with EDG. He's really good at And last but certainly not, uh, certainly not least, I need to thank our staff, Joyce, Stephanie, Sinead, everybody. We couldn't do what we do without you guys, not just here for everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming today. The food is free, so enjoy. <laughs>